So, uh, I'm playing, playing a lot of Undertale, and, uh, I, I, I finished, uh, the Pacifist ending. It was a really good game, I very much enjoyed it, but, um, I've now become obsessed with, with the game. It was very, very hard to, to keep on lockdown, because there's, there's a lot of people that I know that haven't played it, and I want them to experience it. But all I want to fucking do is talk about Undertale. This shit is so fun. Like, it's, it's just amazing. So I'm, I'm going to make a video, this video, of just me ranting, not ranting, I, I, well, I don't know, I, I, I associate ranting with negative, but just talking constantly about Undertale, because fuck, I love, I love the game. So one thing you gotta understand is I'm a huge Earthbound fan. I really, really fucking love Earthbound. It's, it's so good. It, it feels great to play. It's, it's funny. It's it's just it's got great music. Uh, so Undertale to me is just even more of what Earthbound was. Undertale just has this excellent cast of characters any one of these characters could be your favorite character it's it's hard like it's hard to determine who the best is before i played the game i was like i guess everyone's favorite is papyrus then i played it and sans was fucking dope dr alpheus was dope undyne was dope napsta bluke is super dope even though he doesn't impact the plot at all napsta bluke is amazing well, i mean i guess towards the end of the pacifist run he, he's there but, as spoilers, I think. I don't know. And don't even get me started on the music, okay? The music is so perfectly placed throughout the game. And it just feels amazing. It sounds great. And it's used at the perfect moments of the game. I mean, do you, do you see these graphics? These, these graphics alone can't create the atmosphere. These, this game is like a megabyte. But the music fully makes the atmosphere. It just, it sounds amazing. Like, do you hear this shit right here? Listen, listen, listen to this real quick. that that is being created with using the music it's so perfect I can't it's it's so dear to my heart and and now um this is this this is where I talk about spoilers so if you if you haven't played the game go play it right now and then and then maybe come back to this video I don't know this video probably won't be good so you can come back to it if you want but if, but um, I'm gonna talk about shit that you know, you shouldn't listen to him until you play the game. Right here. Right here, right now. So, yeah. Um, the combat is really... Well, not really combat. The uh, When you're getting attacked, the mini games that you have to play are, are really well done. And I love that. But what I really wanted to talk about was how all the boss battles have implemented some kind of brand new mechanic and new color to your heart. Like... That shit is so dope. I think Undyne's green one is really was super fun for me, even though in the genocide run is is not fun. I, I have a bad time with it in the genocide run. I'm sorry, it's really hard. Undyne, Undyne, the Undying is was difficult, and I still I still haven't even beat Sans in the genocide run. I haven't finished my genocide run because Sans is crazy powerful. But the music that plays during this fight is. So I'm just beautiful. I'm not, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna keep talking about music, but um, is the just the combat is just great. I mean, 
you're even even remotely a fan of Earthbound or just appreciate good comedy and just subtle things in video games, then you should play Undertale and play a lot of it. I I I have so many hours in it for just I I don't even really done that much. I just have a lot of hours in it. Ah, such a beautiful game. Fuck.